Well, as Dylan has been reminding us, it's getting quite cold. So this morning in Superfood Friday, Joy Bauer making something to warm us up. You can even get creative and use some of those Thanksgiving leftovers as well. Take it away, Joy. In my house, we like to say when it's chilly outside, it's chilly inside. And today we are going to make a butternut squash chicken chili that is so delicious. Here I have just sauteed one diced onion and a red bell pepper until it's nice and soft. And we're going to start to add our seasonings. So first things first, a tablespoon of chili powder. Now I have some ground cumin, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and last but not least, a little bit of smoky paprika. And before we add anything else, I'm going to stir and saute and let all of the seasonings sort of toast and really flaunt their flavor. So just about 60 seconds. I'm adding the tomato paste, which is really going to richen the tomato flavor and also help to bolden the texture. Mix this around just for about a minute and we are ready to build the entire chili. So I'm putting in now my butternut squash. So here I have small little pieces that are cut up and my butternut squash is raw. You add this in. If you happen to have in your fridge leftover cooked squash or even sweet potato, it's perfect. Just hold off and you put it in at the end because if you put it in too soon, we don't want it to get soggy. Next, two cans of fire roasted tomatoes with all of the liquid. And I'm gonna add in our classic beans. So I have two cans of rinsed and drained black beans. So I'm gonna mix this up. And last but not least, I'm going to add our broth. So I'm starting with two cups of broth. I like a really thick, rich chili. So we mix this up and now I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then lower the heat and let it simmer for about 35 minutes because the key is we wanna get that squash fork tender. You see all of the beautiful colors. The squash adds a lot of vibrancy to this dish, which is really nice. So here I have a great big pot that has already been simmering, and I'm going to show you that my squash is fork tender and ready for action. And so the last step is just to add our chicken and a little bit of salt. This is a rotisserie chicken. I just took the skin off and I shredded with my fingers, the best tool in the kitchen. <laughs> and by the way, if you have leftover turkey in your fridge, you could swap that right in as well. And I mix this in and that's all there is to it. Now I'm gonna bring you over to my island and we're going to decorate it with all sorts of toppings and we're gonna give it the ultimate taste test. I have my bowl, I have my spoon, but first toppings. I love to put on shredded cheddar cheese, a little bit of Greek yogurt, some herbs. I had chives in my fridge, but anything goes. And finally, some creamy heart healthy avocado. Going in for the taste test. Mmm. You butter nut. Pass up on this chili. Mm. Ooh, it looks good. Yeah, and something, I mean, to use those Thanksgiving yeah, Day leftovers, too. Uh, for that recipe and more recipes, as always, head to today.com slash food.